the spirit of this chant, pray one prayer. He says, many were called. Many were sent into the earth. He says, but in the day, only few were chosen. Pray one prayer. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me from my generation. I want to... He says, I have chosen them him with my holy arm. Choose me. I don't want to be lost in the crowd. I don't want to be lost. Choose me. If you are looking for a man to be an avatar of revival, if you are looking for a man to be the face of God, for the 21st century choose me choose me tell it tell it choose me tala rose viata shetetetetetetete raka pata retetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
listen. Please listen if you can. Please give me your attention if you can. The spirit of prayer, the spirit of grace and supplication has enveloped this place. It will take that spirit before you can give birth to your destiny. He says, until Zion travail. There is something locking on your inside. It's like the pain that a woman goes through in labor. It takes the spirit of grace and supplication to bet a glorious destiny. See the Holy Ghost, see the Holy Ghost touching you now. See the Holy Ghost, see him standing by your side. See the Holy Ghost, see him standing by your side. And say, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will hold your hands in life. We will win together. We will win together. Some of you, you don't have a, if God there is no hope anywhere that's that's what I look up to the hills and whence come at my help my help comes from the Lord oh if you can this is a day of encounter sister leave you don't know what is happening to people because not everybody is in the same season like you some people are like Jacob. They have missed a calendar in the spirit. There was an alarm that rang. Men manifested upon the sounding of that alarm. He says, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm upon my holy mountain. He says, so that the inhabitants of the land will hear it and tremble. Many of you, your manifestation, you are already behind the calendar of your manifestation. The clique and the tribe and the clan and the bunch you are supposed to manifest with they are already ahead and in the day of manifestation you were drunk in the adventures of the flesh so Satan made that you did not hear the alarm you are like Jacob running away from Esau came to a spiritual season a spiritual location and you were not discerning you didn't know don't be distracted be looking at me then they wanted to show him what he just missed they opened his eyes and they showed him that there was a ladder connecting heaven and earth in that location that he made his bedroom you don't sleep in the labor room you go there to give birth to destinies women that enter labor room they don't enter with makeup you are going there meaning business because actually what is happening there is a thin line between life and death there is a pain the woman has as a testimony that this is what it cost me to bet this child. And Jacob was busy sleeping. Sleeping before the gate of heaven. He woke up and he said, what? The Lord was in this place. Was. 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 Like many people who have lost encounters. Ah, where are those days where every night he comes and echo a song on your soul you wake up you mean a song there is too much attention on you in that season now look at how dry your dream has become 
They are not following you as they used to follow you before again. Brother, you have lost a season. Those days where you can open scripture and just sit down inside the room, only you. And it will be like there is somebody talking to you. Scripture is interpreting itself to you. Scripture is linking up with another scripture. As though you will run mad. Look at who you have become. You have lost a season. He woke up and he says, the Lord was in this place. And I knew not Jesus. After serving years for Rachel, years for Leah, he has lost tens of years. And there was another chance given to him. One more time. But this time, it was not as elaborate as the first time. This time, it was not myriads and, and uncountable numbers of angels that were ascending and descending. It was not many angels. It was only one. There was one point where there was a ladder and there were, there were, there, there were war angels coming down. It was that dimension Jesus spoke about. He says, Don't, is it because I told you I saw you under the almond tree that you are calling me the Messiah? He says, wait until you see the heavens open over the Son of Man and angels ascending and descending. Tell your neighbor, ascending and descending. That is the summary of a spiritual season. There will be a season where the window of heaven will open over your head and all they'll be waiting for is the ability for you to discern and say, present, here am I, send me. There's an echo. It says, who will I send? Who will go for us? The question was not directed to any man. No man was particular. Though that question was not for a person, the question was for a generation. Any man who can hear it. Can you hear the echoes of the Lord? If you can't hear, you cannot answer. Fortunately, one man was in the throne room that day. He says, here am I. Send me. This second time, it was not a ladder. It was just one angel had the visage of a man. And he says, I have missed a big thing in my life. I will not miss it again. There was something he did. When he began to sense that this kind of location, I sense I have been in this kind of season before. Many of you, you can tell the way God moves upon your vessel. Ah, he sent his wife ahead, sent his children ahead, sent the servant ahead. And the Bible says while he was alone, he knew that I must retreat because a season like this will require you to isolate yourself from the noise of your generation. So he retreated and suddenly he saw a man. The Bible says this time he did not sleep. He did not sleep in the labor room. He held on to him and they began to wrestle throughout the night. When scriptures speak about celestial creatures, they don't talk about things in literal sense. It's metaphors they use to communicate mysteries. To fight means to war in intercession. He held on to an atmosphere. Like some of you here, when you sense the angel drop the water in our midst today, you will hold on to that presence and say, I will not let this presence go today until this thing about my life is changed. Men can hold presence. Many of you have come before mighty presence and you say, wow, wow, what a powerful presence. And you went ahead and left the presence. That is what can change your life forever. He held on to something. He held on to it. It's the second time. So he knows that if he misses this, Oh Jesus, you may not get more than even one chance, but God showed mercy and came for the second time. For many of you, this conference is your second visitation. You have missed and ignored many alarm in the spirit. They say fast, fast, fast. A night came. They come to wake you every night in that year. And you will sleep, ignore the call in the spirit. And they were trying to empower the arm of a man because they wanted to give Peter a voice, a horn, wanted to be exalted in Peter. But you slept throughout the season and the immortals cried when they saw how unreceptive you are to the beckoning of Zion. They began to see that the deliverance of a whole nation is tied to a man. Every generation have their prophets. Every people have a prophet allotted to them. There is little or nothing that the E.A. Adeboye can do about you. He has witnessed to his own generation. It was the parable of Lazarus and the rich man that shows us how the calendar of the divine is. They say they have their own prophets. The rich man says, send prophets from here. Let them go and warn my brother. They say, no, they have their own prophets there with them. Where are the prophets of our generation? 
if we want to stir revival, we have to go to the life of dead men. We talk about Catherine Kuhlman. We talk about Maria Woodward Ita. We talk about Lester Sumran. We talk about Smith Wigglesworth. We talk about Archbishop Benzi Idahosa. What are we looking for? We want to charge people and men are alive. Yet our, our standard are dead men. Where are the prophets of our generation? And mind you, when that bishop was alive, he was storing nations. He was subduing kingdoms. And after he died, years have passed. He is still the standard. Because those who were sent into their time has refused to manifest. I shared with you yesterday the pillars of dominion. And I shared the first pillar being new birth. And I read in John chapter 3 verse 3, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I shared with you that dominion is a reality only when you have entered the new birth. I shared with you the second pillar of dominion, ordination. And I began to teach from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. It says, Before I formed you in the belly of your mom, I knew you, I ordained you, and I sanctified you a prophet unto the nations. I began to share with us yesterday that God has foreordained us. He had given us abilities. He says, you were fearfully and wonderfully made. But only few people will experience wonder in their lifetime. Many people will die as victims. They will live their whole lives as victims of situations and circumstances. But from the studios of eternity, from the labs of ordination, they powered you. When they were creating you, spirits were afraid. The people who were walking in that land, when they saw what God was putting together, they say, ah, you were fearfully. There was fear in the air. What is this that God is creating? The hair on your head, they are numbered. Your detail. Ah, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. He says, lo, I come in the volume of books. It is written of me to do thy will. You are not a mistake. There is a story about you heaven is telling. When people are crying on earth, heaven said we send somebody. There is somebody the day he manifests. And let me share something with you. Satan is not challenged by your arrival. You can arrive. You can be born. Satan is not threatened by your arrival. Satan is not threatened by anything you do except manifestation born. So can be born logically you are already being read as a living thing but upon the why of your life eternity cannot count life for it you are not old by your biological age you are as old you have given to the assignment of your life so he says i must do the work of he that sent me you will not only find him saying that at age of he says i must be about my father's business because he knows at age 12 he was already old. There are many people who are 20, 25 and yet eternity does not record one year for you yet because you have not stepped one step in your purpose of life yet. When you are done from campus you will learn that there is a difference in your work. Many of you will be in jobs but pray to God tonight that you find the work of your life, the work of he that sent you. Uh -huh. One prayer point. Allow us flow with the Spirit tonight. Because He told me He is going to open up the destinies of men this night. One prayer point. Holy Ghost, I have missed encounters before. I have missed a season like Jacob before. One more time, give me another opportunity. Open the heavens over my destiny. Let the gates of heaven be opened. Can somebody cry?
I know my comrades when I see them. I know those who were sent into the same generation to fight together. I know them when I see them. The war over the, the soul of our own age has started. The ministers of our generation must manifest now or die. Because it's only now Goliath is awake. Where are the Davids? We are only few who are at war. Those who fight for the flag of Jesus, they are very few. And he told me tonight, he's going to wake all the sleeping soldiers up. All those who are sleeping the sleep of Adam, he will stir them up. He says I have soldiers I have soldiers in Mina I have soldiers in Bida I will wake them up the day of war has come I will stir them I sent them into time for a day like this awake awake thou that sleepest awake There is a fire. There is a fire. There is a fire. It's like a human being. It is walking now. It is walking. It is touching people. There is a fire. It's touching people. It's waking them up. It's waking them up. I work. There is a fire. Oh. There is a fire. It's touching people. I work. Ushers go around. Ushers go around. I work. I work. Respond. 
power. There is power. My desire. There is power on your inside. My desire is to walk with you, my Lord. Oh, I want to see your face. I want to know your ways. I want to touch your face.
Traveling from city to city. I have a very comfortable bed at home. But my back has not been given the pleasure to lay on it. Why is there so mock on a few and yet we were sent into time? Where are my brothers? Where are those that they sent us into this world? To you think it's any you think it's any pleasure to be going about places? It's not pleasure. There is supposed to be ranking apostles of the Father in every region. The mind of the spirits. I refuse to waste. I refuse to waste in this my leg leg will leave a foot time man man must be a record that i enter time i will not be missing in action it's my vow the heavens are crying adam where are you adam where are you the speaking voice he came and he was crying adam where are you? When they check Mina, when they check Peter, and they see how iniquity prospers, they begin to cry the names, the names of the mighty men that they sent into time. They begin to cry the names of the mighty weapons. Where are you? Blessing, where are you? John, where are you? Are you the one who is to come or do we wait for another oh. how comes Goliath is boasting how comes Goliath is mocking the name of the Lord and no man no man can imagine I prayed one prayer some years back. Lord, use me or kill me. Use me or kill me. I don't want to be a waste. small you this is to you the deliverance of a nation is tied to you inside you is God's secret God's secret is inside you the day he revealed that secret you will be amazed you have always been a sign and a wonder 
the reason for all the attack the reason for all the attack around your life is because of what you carry the enemy does not plant where the good master has not planted it is when the good master plants then he comes and plants tongues there in case Satan has done something around your life in case Satan has planted an addiction it's because there is something on your inside they are trying to stop from rising I cannot die like this I cannot die like this I will lay my life down I will lay it as an offering I will lay it as an offering Yahweh will drink from my cup people say why is this young man why is he wasting his life I will waste upon his altar In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Please be seated if you can. And all those under the anointing, just leave them. Today's meeting is not holding in this hall. There is a plane where spirits are inviting men to. And so, why you see that person being passionate like that? And you, you don't see yourself being as mad as that. It's because both of you are not in the same season. That sister is because she knows what is at stake. If I miss this season, I've missed it. If I miss this visitation, I've missed it. You, you probably can afford another time. Please give me your attention a few minutes. Listen. Upon completion of your academic demands within the confines of this space, BIDA will issue you a certificate. That certificate, as glorious as it is, mind you, study very hard. You may not always be the best, but always be your best. Because it is your best that God needs to bless you. By all means, in every stage, make sure you are rest assured that I gave my best. Me, by all that is within my capacity, I gave my best. I will tell you, when they issue you your certificates, you will learn a very important lesson. The only difference that will be between could be just name. Both of you will graduate with the same class of degree. And the same institution on the certificate. The same class of degree. The only difference that you have is your name. Then you will go towards Kaduna. ABU will produce their own. Catpoli will produce their own. Castle will produce their own. How many schools are everywhere? Everybody will come with a certificate. What I'm trying to draw your attention to is that in the cosmos, they only have categorization. They have boxes. And they only want you to fit into one of the boxes. And you know how very competitive the nation has become. So one job slot is ad advertised and more than 1,000 people come and apply for one position. If your own strength is that you are an, a distinction student, the number of distinction students that will come among that 1,000 will be like 400. Then if your own strength is that you are, you, you are an indigent. The number of indigents too will be close to 200. So at the end of the day, what criteria will these people use to make sure that you are the one that will get that in? 
this is where the difference between those who only have this thing and no anointing on their head. No spiritual support. Nothing backs you. And the campus is not only supposed to be, like I said yesterday, for physical certificate. You must get a certificate by spirits. The day you are collecting your result from this school, the spirit realm also is supposed to give you another result and say, we certify this one. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. They commanded systems and doors to hear him anytime he talks. I did my best but after doing my best I also realized that all God wanted from me is part time to give my best the way that God will lift many of you it will remain a mystery to your life because the things you have been thinking and planning God will follow routes that you never imagined Just in case you are hearing something that I'm not saying. I gave my utmost best to my academics. My first degree. By the message of the Lord, I graduated with a second class upper. 4.2 CGPA. I was aiming for a first class, but that was my best. I did my best. I went for my MSc and I gave my best. My plan is to go and settle in Abuja, live near Koza, sight a good damsel, buy Mercedes Benz, buy one of those estates and live a very noiseless life. I don't want problems. So while I was, the reason for the reading was one day. As I'm speaking to you right now, I've not collected any of my results from AVU. All the results are still with them. I've not had time to collect my results. While I was planning my own, God had a plan for my life. While we were praying on campus, there were so many people who were deployed by darkness to make it difficult for us. And they will come and camp and mock us. All kinds of mockery. There were people who were bragging in my class that they had connections. It didn't take long for them to realize that the arm of the flesh would fail man. They say, the only thing delaying me now is only this school. If not, everything, they have planned it. I've seen what life can do to men. I've seen how princes can home. Two days ago, I was in a flight from Enugu to Abuja. And there in the plane, close to 32 feet above sea level, 32,000 feet rather. The Holy Ghost asked me again, Remember all those things you used to wish and hope for. He said, look at your life. Are they in your life now? And I turned in amazement. I used to think I would gather money and buy a car. I did not save money before I bought a car. Until today, I cannot tell you how God blesses me. There is something on your inside. Some of you, you cannot actually express yourself vocally but if you begin to pen down your thoughts your words begin to flow like an oil there is a grace to write wisdom for nations anytime you carry a pen and you begin to put your thoughts on paper it begins to flow 
you don't know that that thing is stronger than any other thing. There is something given to you. You ignore it all through your life. And all you are looking for is to go and join a line. I will share something with you this night. I told you for the past two weeks, I've been so drained, so stressed out. I've literally just been traveling from city to city. But there's no glory in it. There's no pride in it. It is a sign and a report card that a generation is asleep. Sometimes when we come to a space, people look at us and then they think we are having a good experience. There was an encounter he showed me early this year. I saw a hall and I saw young men wearing military uniforms. And amongst them, I saw that the hall just just 10 or 11 people in a hall that has a capacity of a thousand. Only 10 or 11 people. And a voice whispered to me, he says, these are the ones that reported for duty. Many were sent into time. The state of the world is darkness and many lights were sent into time, but the light have refused to arise and shine. That regions. Check my story with you just in case you want to know what I need for that young bro seated somewhere that is thinking, come my life. There are people here best and yet you are not the best. You don't need to be the best for God to bless you. Just be best. Some of you here, you're depressed. You are moody. You are frustrated. Every time you go and check the notice board, ah, the report card is not good enough. And you are thinking about the labor market to happen to my destiny. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. There are some of you, the mistake has been done. While you were supposed to be giving your best, you probably had a period of misbehavior. And then all kinds of results that does not really reflect your true capability became the end state of that season. There's still good news for you. I can tell you one truth. Anything plus God is success. Anything plus the anointing is success. But there are only few people who labor and touch God in this space. Many people will graduate. You will snap your group picture and like play, you will begin to watch that picture as the years go by and you will see life arrange you in cadres. You were never age mates. You were never classmates. You were never mates. Decisions will categorize you into cadres. Some of you, they will look at you here and say, ha, ah, these ones, we just pity them because probably you don't look like anything good can come out of you again because by the standard, and let me share something with you, success in the academic space is the quality of your results. Amen. You guys are not following me. Amen. Amen. Success in the higher institution, the space, in this space, success is the quality of your results. But immediately you graduate, the definition of success will change. It will not be quality of result again. It will be the amount of wealth you are able to assess. Mammon is a spirit. You can't tame it with a certificate. It's a principality. You can't use paper and control it. It is the only spirit that they said, this one, you can either serve God or you will serve it. Mammon don't serve you, you serve it. It will take more than certificates to tame Mammon. It take wisdom to know the thing I'm telling you now. Embrace it quickly and prevail. The result alone will not give you an edge. He says, I'm repeating it. Thou anoint my head with oil. Leave the, this, this space. Leave this institution. Leave campus with an anointing. Carry something on your head. And if you try to press and you don't have the power in you to contend, look for a brother, look for a sister. Let's meet every 2 a.m., 1 a.m. Make sure you attend your lectures well. Find time at night and be writing exams in the spirit so that the day you are graduating, 
you are living here with different marks and different badge, different certificates. You will stand before a door, a door that was closed to a thousand people and you will be coming from afar and the door will open by itself. There are men that men cannot say no to. They will pursue every other person but when they look at you, they cannot send you away because of an economy of favor upon you. I share a testimony with you to the glory of God. In my little experience, without collecting a certificate yet from school, I've had CEOs of multi-million conglomerates call me and say, hello, I was given your number. They said you are a credible person. We, I want you to manage, manage my firm. I, I did not apply. I don't even know about it. There are companies that put me in their board. I, I, have, I, I don't know where the company is located. But they pay me monthly. They just want me to be in the board so that the favor of God can be in their company. And I say, sir, I will, I will not be able to have the time to manage your company for you. He says, no, I don't need you to manage it. I just want you to be the head over. Thou anoints my head with my cup. cup. My cup run it over. Brother, write those exams in the spirit quickly. They will be waking you up from time to time. Pray. Oga, you are not the only one. The spirits are waking up to pray. Is the few people who answer that call, you will find that in the passage of time, they will stand Paul in their generation. You will think God is partial, but he is not. Whatsoever a man sows, he will reap. We are few. And yet the great war, the clash of light and darkness, the contention for the souls of the men of our generation has started. Every generation would, would fight this war. There was a battlefield where Daddy Oedipo got his badge from. There was a battlefield where Daddy E.A. Adeboye wielded his scepter from. It was when they were contending for the soul of their generation. Today, you will find them say, shout hallelujah. And millions of people will shout hallelujah. Where did they win those millions from? They fought in their generation and they harvested. Every generation have their own prophets. That the language only you can speak. Have you found out that if you play some of these messages of the patriarchs, you feel it's boring? Powerful message, yet you are feeling like sleeping. Because he's not speaking your language. They were those, ah, like the rich man told Papa Abraham, and Papa Abraham replied him. He says they have their own prophets. They were prophets sent to every timeline. There are people who have been given the hallowed responsibility to reveal the counsel of God to that generation. And if those people sleep, the harvest will waste. And so, those of us who are fighting in the field now, we are exhausted. We are literally exhausted. I told you, for the past two weeks, I have not gotten good rest for myself. I've been traveling from city to city. When I live here, when I live here, I'm going to Abuja to go and catch a, a, a flight to Umaya. I will go and do a revival campaign in Umaya for two days. I was in Enugu two days ago. The day before yesterday, I was rushing from a conference in Kaduna to come and catch your conference. Somebody will stand in one corner and clap and say, you are doing well. It's not true. It's a report card that a generation is sleeping. Because the truth is, no man is supposed to be under pressure like this. We are supposed to be many. Like Lawrence Uyo will say, he says we will be many. But those who fight for the flag of Jesus are few. Many 
are called, but in the day of manifestation, only few were chosen. You know yourself. You know that there is a call on my life. I belong among those who fight this great battle, the clash of light and darkness in my generation. If you don't manifest now, you will waste. And I'll tell you why. Continue to entertain that excuse. Continue to live in secret sin. If you don't manifest now that we need you to come and join us, let's fight and win this generation for Jesus. When the battle is over, when they begin to list the names of the mighty weapons of God across different generations, when powers begin to number weapons in the Tower of David, your name will be blotted out. Many of you, you are designed to be a battle axe. Through you, God is supposed to uproot kingdoms. God is supposed to dethrone kings. But you are a victim till now. You are supposed to be the help of a people. And you yourself are still in need of help. Something is lying to you and say one day, one day, just don't worry, one day you will fast very well. Then you will break into your purpose. The time for your manifestation has come. If you don't know, there's a Kairos season that our generation has entered. And the men who would bear the banner of Jesus, it is now that they will manifest. The elders, they have run their race. They are holding a baton in the back of their hand. Many of them are exiting time. Billy Graham left time before your eye. You saw it. You witnessed it. They didn't tell you. Miles Muro left time before your eye. You saw it. You witnessed it. They didn't tell you. Billy Graham was a global evangelist. They were packing stadiums. You will not hear of miracles in this meeting. Yet sinners cry every time and come out in their millions. Miles Muro was mentoring presidents of nations these men wielded hallowed scepters and before your eyes you saw that those guys are living time was it not before your eyes that Reinhard Boinke came into our border and did his final crusade and say henceforth you will see me we are speaking parables Elijah was niche mountains you cannot, you cannot start from the scratch because you too you will repeat the mistakes of the fathers and if you repeat the mistakes of the fathers, you have dishonored them. You meant that their life did not count for anything. And so the way of progress is to stand on the shoulders of the fathers so that their end is your starting point. The last miracle of Elijah was parting the Jordan. What is the first miracle of Elijah? Parting the Jordan. The end of your father is your beginning. But too many people, they stay on their own in arrogance and pride. And they say, I know what I'm doing. You will go and waste many years, make many mistakes, only to learn a lesson you would have learned since. On whose shoulder are you standing? We have arrogant people. You can't be traced to any, any lineage in the spirit. Time and time again, these great patriarchs will appear to you in your dreams. Some of you, you see faces come in your dream. Some of them tell you to read a particular book. Some of them will come and just be looking at you. They will not say anything and your soul will be on fire. It says, seeing then that we are surrounded with so great a cloud of witnesses. There are many men who have fought this fight before us. Many who have run this race before us. And they surround you. There are sisters here. King Kulman appears to. We don't know that it's her yet. At just your dream and at your night. A man will just appear. Some of you is Omi Becky and Nenche. She will appear to you. And she will remember what she told you. But you will wake up with them in your heart. We are surrounded alone. You will not be the first person and will not be the last. People have done it before you and they surround us. They are going to choose their candidates. Who would continue the ministry of Ketrin Kuhlman? Who would continue the ministry of Mata? Who would contest Amy Semple McPherson? Where women were not permitted to talk much. These three men, they were packing stadiums. They say, women, be quiet. You don't talk in church. And they went against the tide. It was sister Amy Semple McPherson. Marriage failed. Children die. All kinds of tragedy. And she said, onward I go. You, you are living for, 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 for feeling. They don't like me. Who cares? Your concern, you, your concern is how many likes did you get under your picture that you uploaded? The interest of this strange breed that are no longer inside time. They were not consigned by how many men like them. It was angels that were liking them. 
in the corridors of heaven, their names were loud. When Michael talks, Gabriel converse, their names always come out. Have you seen my servant Job? It's not only Job they talk about. They call the names of other men too. An angel that entered Peter for a purpose will go back and say, I sighted the man. What is this man that you are mindful of him? I saw a young boy. He's not known yet. But upon him is a mighty anointing. You are not alone, brother. You are not the first. And if you don't join this fight quickly, God will win with either many or a few. But at the end, we must win. Woe betide you if you don't join us when we were fighting. Goliath has arisen. Mighty champions have emerged from the camp of darkness. Have you not wondered the audacity that the men and the sons of darkness, how they challenge you on the internet? When we meet on the metaverse, the world of the internet, many of you don't know that there is war going on there. It's a clash between light and darkness. Many of you, Satan, is using your profile also as, a, as an apostolic mission. You go and upload a picture. You think you just want to, to slay. You don't know you have become an apostle of lust. More than a thousand young men will look at your picture. That's your exposing picture. That's your seductive picture. And many will fall. I will tell you how the spirits define immorality. It has upgraded. Whosoever looked at a woman lustfully in his heart has committed that sin with her already. The devil say, put this. Please tell yourself I will not be used by darkness. There are many of you. If you die today, there is no one single soul that is attached to your name that this you want. But there are many people who are in hell because of you. You have led many to hell. You have misadvised many. You have done and now you that led people to hell, you now give your life to Christ and you are still not serious. Yet hell has record that you are a mighty man for them. I will close my eyes to sleep some nights and I will see two men who come to me and I will not share names so that you don't think I'm proud. Long dead patriarchs. They'll come and sit near me. Sometimes they'll smiling, looking at me. They have clothed me with their mantles. Their assignment, I am the one continuing it. Listen, you can laugh, but not. You can think that I'm trying to motivate you. Keep your ears to the ground. You will soon hear of nations and cities that we will overrun. They say we are young, but there is an ancient spirit that mantles us. The zeal of the house of the Lord has consumed us. I don't want to live and die. I want to leave an eternal dynasty behind. I want to become a tribe in the spirit. I want men to speak me. This is not pride. It's not boasting. I make my boast in the Lord. I want two men to be able to meet from different continents and recognize that we belong in the same tribe. And I want that dynasty to start on the ground of my Lord God. I've been booked to different countries. I'll be in South Africa. I'll be in Botswana in two weeks time. How old am I? What are they looking for? The nations are hungry for God. The nations are looking for God genuinely. And you are refusing to take God seriously. See how you used to fall and rise. Fall and rise. Pretend. And see how God is using you. Imagine if you are truly true. Hi, Jesus. What will he do with you? See you that disobeys instructions. He said, pray, you will not pray. Yet, if you come and raise your hand, the power will break out. Imagine if you put yourself as a creature of prayer. Sister, spirits can hide inside your voice. And every time you raise a song, your, your voice will become a ladder. Spirits will walk into time through you. I know what God wants to do. But he's looking for men to do it. There are mighty prophecies inside the scripture 
that no name was written on it is open to any man who is hungry enough. I will not waste. I will not waste. I will not waste. In this battle, I will play a major role. We will fight until our garment will be stained with blood. It will be soaked by the blood of our foes. And our voice will become trumpets very soon. We will shout upon mountains and an army will gather. A time will come. They will give me a badge soon. Remember my face. Remember me in this level you met me. Because you will not see me here forever. Very soon they will promote me. They will make me a captain soon. So that if I shout, an army will gather. Among angels, there are captains. There was such a creature called Michael. And in the day when rebellion broke out in heaven, there was war in heaven. They didn't say God fought. They say Michael and his angels. You don't know who is looking at you quietly yet. You are not alone. The number of spirits who, are, who know who you truly are, they see you in secret. You don't know how many people are checking you out. In the day of manifestation, the creature from the celestial host that do a similar assignment as what you will do will appear to you. Who is Zachariah? Zachariah is a priest. Zachariah, father of John the Baptist. Who is a priest? A priest is a man that can stand in the presence of God on behalf of the sinful nation. Which angel appeared to Zachariah? And what was the CV of that angel? He showed up and said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. So an angel that stands in the presence will appear to a man that stands in the presence. Who is Joshua? Joshua is the captain of the army of the Lord, physical. Who appeared to Joshua in the battle of Jericho? He was a strange creature. What was his introduction? He says, I'm neither for you nor against you, but I am the captain of the host of God. So a captain will appear to a captain. Who is Jesus? God. Who is the light bearer? It is an angel of light that will appear to the man of light. As I speak to you currently, there are many creatures that are watching you in silence. Because in the day of transition, when elders will leave time, and if you don't know, the only reason why many of them are still around is because the generation to collect the mantles from them are still sleeping. So they gave us 10 more years. 10 more years. And we are almost rounding the 10 years up. There are apostles that are currently captives of masturbation and pornography. Yet, that is the person who should take over. That is the person who should take over from a global apostle. And God is saying, I will not change my mind on you. Time and time again, an encounter will come. Awake, awake thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead. Arise. Some of you, you will never forget my voice. You will never forget my voice this night. You will try to, try to do things that your, your companions are doing. And you will find that there is a spirit that is cooler about your own spirit. There is a role given to you. Only you can play it. And they will alter your plan. In that day, when it begins to play out, remember my voice and draw strength. Some of you, you will be the continuation of those ministries that Satan obliterated. Because when I look at the slates and I check the landscape, Ketrin Kuhlman is not around again. Amy Semple McPherson is not around again. Maria Woodward Eater is not around again. That type, that type has left the earth. Now the average young girl, age seminar coach, 
when women were wielding scepters of apostolic horns they were healing apostles what did Satan do against you? Satan attacked women now the average girl her greatest interest and pursuit is to marry and post the pictures of her flamboyant wedding and say I will pepper them once upon a time women were packing nations I don't know where that type went to because I can't see them again I pray that a spirit will consume you this night and okay you, you said amen and you don't know what you said amen for one of the things that follow this kind some of them they will never have a successful marriage never some of them will live lonely lives but they will be pillars in eternity I have a witness in my spirit that the Holy Ghost while I was talking he was handpicking certain people in our midst he was putting the burden upon many people's hearts and say I will use you Joshua I will use you I need you to cooperate with me I will use you some of you en encounters that you had in the past are beginning to play back in your mind you can see it again I am the bread of my generation I am the hope of many people I will build ancient waste places I will restore the glory of nations all these great prophecies are upon you as I tie my discourse up many of us powerful prophecies has gone ahead you have received different kinds of confirmation mighty things has been spoken concerning you and all those things just remains talk your life cannot domesticate those things yet some of you when they gave birth to you spirits came to your mom and told her this child will be great and anytime you misbehave they will call you and say when we received you God told us that you will be they were reminding you all the time brother sister your season of appearing has come he says the child John remained in the wilderness until the season of his appearing or die forever become what created to become quickly and again we are already fighting against darkness and those of us very early Apostle Michael Roko and he was sharing with me about the way the audience of the apostolic and I could discern weariness of his voice he's straight tired depleted should Jesus have only few army but many were called many were called huh? Jesus Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 21 This, this scripture is, is what I tie up with. You just look at it from where you are. I want us to read as loud as you can at the count of three. One, two, three, go. Yes. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? He says, when I planted you, I planted you a noble vine I planted you a right seed the seed was a good seed he says how have you turned into a strange creature before me I can't recognize you again I don't know who I'm seeing I planted you to be a noble vine who has turned you into a degenerate plant of a strange vine I see another wickedness under the sun princes are walking on their feet and servants were riding horses. John chapter 1 verse 6. There was a man. 
sent from God whose name was John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. There was a man sent from God whose name was Emmanuel who were all sent from God. There was a man sent from God whose name was Blessing. Verse 7. Verse 7 says, The same came. Verse 7 says, The one that was sent was the one that came. Verse 7 said, It was the person we had in mind that we designed. Fearfully and wonderfully, he was the one that manifested. I put a question to you before we pray. Is it this version that was sent? Are you the one that was sent? It was that question John was asking Jesus. Are you the one who is to come? Or should we wait for another? Are you the one to dry the tears of that family? Are you the one your mother received a prophecy for? Are you the one they were waiting for? To end decades of affliction. Some of you, you are in school today as sacrifice. They sent you to school in an attempt to bring a prophecy to pass and say at least a great man must come from us. You don't know yet that too many things are on ground. Too many things are there to war and contend with. Wherever you are, wherever you are, this night there will be no pretense. The Holy Ghost told me he will wake an army up this night. Wherever you are, Look for a corner. Look for a spot. If you want to kneel down, you kneel down. If you want to stand, you stand. If you want to lie down, you lie down. By all means, look for a spot and flog it out with destiny. Your prayer point is one. Lord, remember me. Remember me. Don't give up on me, Holy Ghost. I know I have lived in stubbornness for too long. I have ignored many instructions. Can you one more time give me another chance? Another chance. Can you put your spirit upon my vessel again? Can you choose me again? Holy Ghost, I know you are looking at another brother. You are almost leaving me behind now. Holy Ghost, one more chance. One more. One more chance. I know you are almost changing your mind. One more chance. One more. In the next five years, you will see the value of this prayer. The next five years, you will see the value of this culture. You will see those their energy to secure verdict from the cause of the immortals. My cannot continue like this. Holy, if you leave me, I will waste. If you leave me, I will waste. seen the power that fought my fathers. I saw how they fought them and they held them down. Only you can lift me Holy Ghost. If you leave me, they will win me. I've seen that marriages don't work from where I came from. I have seen that people don't prosper. No man of God has emerged from my bloodline. Only you can help me. You may want to pray, brother. Remember me. Remember me. One more time. Remember me. Please don't give up on me, Holy Ghost. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. I am still interested. I am still interested in your assignments. I am still interested. I am still interested. I am still interested, Holy Ghost. I am interested. Please don't leave me to myself. Don't leave me to myself. Oh. 
Holy Ghost. Please don't leave me to myself. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. My life is wasted. My life is wasted. I am wasting Holy Ghost. I am wasting. Please don't leave me to myself. Don't give up on me. 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 Ta-ta-ta-ta! <laughs> 